Hey guys, Ron here. Listen, tonight it's impromptu. I'm headed up to Hollywood, so I'm going to give you a little view here of the Beverly Hills, some of the Beverly Hills mansions as we head up to Sunset Boulevard, and then I'm going to go a few miles down Sunset, and that'll be at the end of my ride. But let's take a look at what's around us here. And we're in the residential neighborhood. We're going off to Hollywood. We're going to turn on Sunset. We'll still be residential, and then we'll be in west hollywood slash the sunset strip so without further ado let's take all right sorry about the windows my had some work done on the car and these geniuses put the windshield wipers back on after they took them off and now they only go to there they didn't put them on all the way so i can never get fully sudsed. It's dog walking time now. Real people in Beverly Hills actually walk their dogs like you and I. It's amazing. It's just incredible. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hollywood Hills up there, you can see it, but you'll see in a minute. Now, you know what? Let's go to Sunset here. That way, it's going to go further up, but this way, you can take a look at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Which, oh, I haven't been there in a long time. Well, there she is. When I go to the Beverly Hills Hotel, I go to the Polo Lounge which is an indoor-outdoor great patio. I saw Lonnie Anderson there. I've seen... Uh, she's at a birth, small birthday party with friends. Who else did I see at the Polo Lounge? Uh, I'll think of a few. I'll think of somebody else later. I was inside once on a winter night just for drinks. But I like the patio outside, particularly in the summer. Around dusk, like it is now. You can get appetizers or food. You know, the Beverly Hills Hotel, I mean, it used to be the one of the swankiest hotels in the world. It kind of inspired Eagles Hotel California album and the play and then movie California Suite. <clears throat> also inspired by the Plaza Hotel. But California Suite was the Beverly Hills Hotel. And now, you know, it, it's not... Uh, not what it was but it's still nice this is the park and I've done a video on this too this is the park you can almost see the building there there's a bathroom in there that's where George Michael the late singer was arrested for um, doing naughty stuff with an undercover cop it's a nice uh, and a nice sculpture up there a sculpture up there that's the back of the Beverly Hills Hotel we're heading up Sunset now. The beautiful Hollywood Hills that we're coming up to. North of Sunset, I really love those homes up there. And right now we're just looking at walls, but... Um, north of Sunset, if you keep going up there about a half mile, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, I did Don Rickles' house there. I filmed the film Frank's, one of Frank Sinatra's. Homes. Alpine is one of the last kind of streets here before, as you're leaving Beverly Hills Residential and coming into Beverly Hill, uh, West Hollywood with the restaurants and the shops and bars, nightlife. Nice house. Several million dollars for that house. I can see Sierra Towers up ahead. That's the building gleaming there. That's Sunset and Doheny. It's been there a long time. That really kind of marks the entrance what? to um, to West Hollywood. The Sunset Strip, I should say. Oh, yep, it's gleaming all right. The sun is setting right on it. 
there's somebody going really slow. Probably doing what I'm doing, tourists and stuff. Uh, they're turning on Elm. Nice names, huh? Elm, Maple. Look at that one. There's some, definitely some mega mansions. It's kind of hard to see them behind the, the brush. But they are there. Hillcrest, you go up there and you get a great view of the city. Sierra Towers. Let's see, BMW, Audi. What's that up there? I don't even know what that one is. Hillcrest is uh, where Elvis lived, too. I've done a couple videos on that house. Very quiet up there at night. Now, Alta. All right, now we're coming into the Sunset Strip. Oh, look at that, filming a movie. You always know, because you always see a bunch of trucks lined up. And cones. Yeah, and there's the trailers. Well, they, that's for the electric and all that. So I don't actually see any trailers, but that's that's definitely filming a movie or, or a commercial. Let's not hit this guy. That would be a problem. So now we're on the Sunset Strip kind of quiet tonight so far. There's Sunset and Doheny I was talking about before. I worked at Wilshire and Doheny for many years. Gil Turner's where John Belushi got thrown out of near the end of his life the last week he was here in LA. Went behind the counter, couldn't find his car keys, was making a ruckus. Car keys to his rental car. I don't know if he ever even found them. They threw them out. There's the rainbow on the left here. Coming up. Shit. That's the rainbow. The Roxy. All right. Prius, you made your red light. You happy? So you ran the red light. There's the Roxy. Yeah, it's kind of quiet, but again, it's not what it used to be. Look at the city view down there. You can see all those buildings out on Santa Monica Boulevard and Wilshire Boulevard down there. Down the hill. such a hurry they don't uh, want to take in the sights. Why? Well, I don't know because there's some great sights around here. It's not like you're driving in an Encino you know, on Havenhurst. There's some good stuff to look at here. Hustler Hollywood. Here's the Viper Room. I done two or three videos on the bike road. I think the River Phoenix died on the sidewalk out in front. I believe in 1993. Kids today probably don't even know who he was. Restaurants have changed. So many have changed over the years. Even La Dome is not here. I think it was over here. There's Sunset Plaza. Which I've shown you many times. Uh, everybody 
just racing to get by, man. Ah. And here is my destination. All right, guys. Look at those. Look at those. Uh, well, it's crowded tonight. Okay. There's a Tesla. I don't know whether he's leaving or what he's doing. I guess he's leaving. Look at all these houses up the hill there. Wow, it's really busy here. Okay, we've got at least two people parked over the hill. Pause for a second.